welcome to another Armor 3 tutorial on the Drongo's map population mod. So basically to start off you need a core module which I've already placed because this is a very in-depth mission to er, set up. That is not the core. So I have debugged mode on, on or set to true because this will show you basically everything being set up. This is a good way when you're creating the mission to make sure everything that you want created is set up. The next one you want to do is define a faction. So I've already customized a faction here, but we're going to walk through another little step. But basically, you set your free place your units. You could basically put whatever you want, but you can't really modify the units. So whatever vehicle you pick, like I tried modifying these tanks and helicopters and stuff, but it will just go back to the default spawn unless you script it in. So basically, we're going to put down a define module. Um, this basically sets it to 200. Uh, we're gonna just call it. You can call it the faction, whatever name you want. So you can call it um, AF, and set it to East. Basically, you can choose whatever faction, and you whatever you want. And then you want to set it up. So uh, you could have planes in the air. You could have drones. But we're just gonna get rid of a few things and basically set this up to basically just be infantry only. Zero vehicles, boom, boom, boom. So basically, anything within 200 meters of this will be a uh, thing. And I could turn this into basically whatever. I could put uh, squads, uh, but you always have to have a sergeant um, as your squad leader. Because there's different little markers we're going to have. Um, that, we could also set up HVT, so we want to have an officer. We could set up... Basically, turn this guy into an HVT. You set him to a colonel. But oh, back, we'll go back over here where we have pilots and stuff. So if you got like ground vehicles, right? You're gonna need a cap. Uh, they have to be out of the rank of captain. So I have a crew member. His rank is captain. If you want a um, pilot, they have to be the rank of major. And then basically, you set it all up. Basically, make sure everyone's in thing. Or er, basically, set up. We don't have helicopters, we set that to zero. And vice versa. Um if you're gonna use like UAVs and stuff, you wanna make sure they're um they're actually manned, or if you leave them static, they'll just stay here. Basically the map population with the defined faction basically it despawns these units immediately. Um if you have like multiple factions like enemy factions and stuff, you could always go to a uh, special state and just deactivate everything. And basically, the mod will take it over. So next is once you get that all situated, um, you could choose specific AO, or you could just have it just defaultly populate the entire map. So since I've got um, the Malden Communist faction populating 1,500 meters there, I will then go to my thing, and I could then step down here, AF. And I can set that to 1500. You can set it to a square box or whatnot, and you'll see what, what I'm talking about here in the video. Now we can set that down there so that this populates this area. I also have objectives because there's a whole lot of things you can do. You can set up your own little um or AI if you want to like try to micromanage the positions of AI for your specific missions. Do that. You could do a uh, loot core, which the, the issue with loot core and stuff is basically it'll try to populate every building within the objective. Um, say if you want to have like an area that you do not want the AI to show up, you could... That's not that. Basically, you can set this up. I'm going to redefine this to 2000 because I realized this was going over the land a little bit, which was kind of defeating the purpose of the mission. And then you could go in and you could do populations, like you have pop AA. So, but for the population of AA, you want to have it um, set up with actual assets. Because any assets that you do not um, define, like if you go through the define and say I wanted to add jets and I don't put jets, it will defaultly go to NATO. So then you'll have NATO jets flying all over the place, which is not ideal. There's a lot of things going on too. Uh, you can have population faction. You just name your faction, and boom. And if they die, you can spawn. Um, and if you want a, like an endless battle, you can. You also could have suicide bombers. Basically, you could change the um, different settings. You can set it to different sides. They so could do like 
modded missions or if you have insurgents or whatnot. And then you can have targeting west, vanilla, and then you can have populations of civilians with traffic, and you can change all the settings. The, the difference is, is if you change any of the settings, um, it will uh, add take longer to for the map the mod to populate the server. And then you got basically your task missions that you can set, um, but you want to always have an auto or a task mission generator. So it basically. Um, then you can also put mission types and basically set it up what you want. So if I wanted to, I could uh, say I don't want to destroy ships, don't have aircraft, I want to, don't want to do deliveries. Maybe I don't want to do mine clearing. I don't want to find caches. Maybe I don't want to meet this leader. Boom. And that sets that all up. Um, then you can do, I don't know what the camera does. I think that just deals with like different cinematics if you want to do that or force areas some stuff you can also change the skill of the AI what is this revive and you can set up a time so if you want to have players being revived you can by your um, squad and this this is basically taking into consideration that you already know how to set up your own little respawn and stuff for the mission but you can also have little different things too you can set up weather basically to change time weather whatnot if you want to, it's you, there's an actual Drongo mod too. I think that deals with weather. I have set here potentially, yeah, dynamic weather. But that's a separate mod, which we'll go over later, which adds more in depth um, weather dynamics. So okay, so basically now we're gonna go into the world. All right, now we're in this world. We'll set this up to times four. Basically, this is a daytime consuming uh, map. Basically, we see our two factions. They're kind of overlapping, which I could go back in and move this to the south a little more, this a little north, or vice versa. Or however you big you want this. But everything's getting populated. We'll go to Zeus so you can see everything spawning in. And the more units you have, the uh, more it uh, will take to populate. And then you can also set it up in... I almost crashed my computer. Very easy to do. I recommend using this on a server that's beefy. Uh, sometimes some things will blow up. Nature of the beast, unfortunately. But basically it's trial and error, so... And basically my missions I've got spawning in are coming in, so you can basically do detain. And there's different ways you can set the detainees. Uh, the mod basically gives you a few options. But basically he's just stuck there. A helicopter spawning. And basically all this, and this is basically all in the debug module, so if you turn this all off, it will uh, basically go away. And then basically you conduct your mission once everything's kind of spawned in, and then you can just go in and take stuff. Uh, for these objectives where you can take the area, you can set those up to where the enemy can retake them, so... I take this, and the enemy then come back and retake this, this um, town, or vice versa. However you want to do it, it's basically up to you, just however you want to customize it. There's also um, a detain and extract mo mo mode, or say this is our headquarters, we can then basically capture this guy, escort him back to here, and I think if I recall he is a civilian. Here, and yeah, so if you want to like customize it, um, you don't have to set up these AI missions if you don't want to. Um, you can have it auto generate. But if you do set up customize, make sure you sync it or put it close to the objective that you want. And then you got your drones flying, and everything's kind of flying. And if you had jets, you could have jets flying, but it just depends on what you want to do with your mission. So that is the uh, Drongo's map population mod.
Hope you uh, learned something, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.